Welcome back to the PC Gamer Weekend. Uh, I am here with Sean and Magic. Um, we're going to play some Tokyo 42, I believe, is the, the plan yep. for the next 20 minutes. Yep. <laughs> so, you guys have just got to the show, I think. I don't know when you yeah. arrived. You arrived today, right? Yes, yes, this afternoon, yeah. Okay, so you've um, you've got a chance to kind of walk around, have a look, yeah, see yeah, the yeah. game. How's it how's it gone so far? Have you... It's awesome. Um, uh, I love seeing uh, Dawn of War three. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I was actually a little bit unexpected because I didn't kind of didn't really prep too much. This is a work thing, right? Until the moment you're like, yeah, actually, yeah. guys, you look after the stand. I'm going to go play some Warhammer. Yeah, and Rising Sun was just on, um, so it's kind of more on my style of games. Right. Um, so there's actually quite a lot to see. Yeah. I'm like normally like you know kind of overwhelmed. There's so much to see. But like this one, it's quite interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, great. And how's the, I mean, you've got your own, you've got Tokyo 42 playable yeah. on a stand. Yeah. Has it been fun so far? Have you, you got to introduce some people to the game? Yeah, it looks, it seems like it's working. Great, <laughs> which great. Which is a start. Um, uh, yeah, people seem to be enjoying it. Um, we've had a couple of people kind of sit down and do um, quite long sessions. Great. Um, so, you know, it's not Do you charge them after a certain point or? Well, it's early, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, no, but it's, it's really nice to see that from our perspective because, you know, you can quite easily make a game where, you know, someone sits down for two minutes at these shows and just kind of gets a bit bored and then leaves. Yeah. Um, but consistently people just don't. So that's Great. good. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let, let's jump in because we've got it right in front of us. Yeah. And you can, we can go in deep, go into the deep end. Uh, explain Tokyo 42 to me. Uh, Tokyo 42 is a isometric open world action adventure, um, uh, which is kind of like it's it's kind of like a riff on a lot of old school um, tactical games like Syndicate. Mm, um, I, was, yeah, I saw a little bit of Syndicate. Yeah. And uh, sort of maybe a bit of GTA One, but um, it's sort of made in full 3D um, and it's uh, uh, you know with a spinning camera, so it actually does some pretty interesting new things. Um, but yeah, it's a sort of it's a it's a sci-fi Tokyo that you're adventuring around in, and you get roped into this kind of uh, CD underworld of sort of corporations and assassins and mm. you become an assassin and um, and then you go and shoot things. Great. Um, and that's basically it. So as an open world game, it's, it's primarily an action game, right? Uh, yes, yeah. You, you kind of, you conduct um, assassination missions um, where... Uh, stealth as well. Right. You, stealth. you can stealth. Um, and That's not what's um, happening here, I take it. There's a bit of grenade. That's a grenade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a stealth grenade, why not? So, so actually, this is kind of one of the things that um, we really wanted to do with this game was make a physics-based uh, game. So cool. all the combat is kind of like physics-based weaponry, and you can kind of see the grenades bouncing around and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's... Good grenade. Yeah, they are. They're quite good. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was also well thrown. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I was um, perplexed as to why that dude was on that building. Maybe like, just lived there, man. Yeah. So <laughs> Sean, Sean does the code and I do the graphics. Right. Um, and um, we've we've kind of made the, the, the AI quite loose. Um, so uh, they will do unexpected things. So we've actually never seen that AI get across that building. And actually, how they got there is a tricky one. To okay. Explain. So you, um, <laughs> that's a that's a live stream exclusive right there. That man. Don't yeah. know how he got there. Yeah. He's yeah. dead that Singularity yeah. has yeah. just happened. Yeah. Before yeah. Yeah, the AI is quite freeform. Yeah, as in strange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's dead now. So yeah. Uh, yeah. whatever potential his AI brain had yeah. snuffed yeah. out by a broke grenade. Thank God. Um, save the world with a good. I mean, yes. uh, maybe to touch on the art a little bit quickly. Like it's such a, a like a specific look. You, you mentioned you you know maybe GTA One as a touchstone, yeah. or but it, you have gone in a, a totally different direction in terms of the look and feel of of Tokyo Forty Two by the uh, looks of things. Well, I mean, I don't know. Or, or if I'm wrong, please yeah, I correct mean, me. Pro I think, I think me. you know, in making the game, we, we reference a lot of those old games. So, um, it, in in, a, in many ways, it's kind of like a tribute to a lot of those for us. Right. Um, and because this is actually our first game, um, you know, uh, we we kind of we wanted to pay a lot of respect and learn from a lot of those games. So, um, I think the, the the look is it comes from wanting to make a, a 3D version of GTA One, say, right, which was whilst it was 3D, you couldn't really do 3D things. It was kind of top down, um, uh, and then kind of like make an extended version of Syndicate Wars. Mm. Kind of, I don't know if you remember it. Yeah, had that spinning camera. Um, uh, so yeah. Perfect. So presumably there is no fall damage. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the risk of death is kind of fairly high in this world. As it is. Kind of yeah. Adds too much. Um, uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of fun bits you can kind of um, find around the world. It, it, it is kind of a platformer, but it's not a focus in the game. Um, uh, but you can use the environment however you want. So you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You're gonna, you might find yourself jumping onto cars and finding some sort of weird sniper. Oh, so the, the vehicles we're seeing going past are themselves just. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. How rad is that? Did he just? Is that dynamic? That That's he just, random. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that uh, oh, is, it, is this a random amount of dialogue or is it? Yeah, yeah. randomized yeah. dialogue. Yeah. 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 Wow. But no, no. It's yeah. a. It's it's. Okay. Great between, what's AI. Ha- between what's happening so far, <laughs> is your AI alive? I think this is, is what this is what we're witnessing. It's right alive. Weird. It, yeah. It is, uh, this is. The, I mean, I'll take that as live streaming. Um, and and yeah, all, all credit to Sean for writing um, a living, living, thinking machine. <laughs> Indeed. Um, that works <laughs> sometimes. Uh, where you shoot people. Um, yes. And you do the murder. Great. Um, <laughs> no, it's soft murder. Look, they, so, they uh, let's, come let's back to about, uh, What is motivating the murder currently? Well, maybe not currently, because I suspect it might be random. But, you know, uh, <laughs> um, well, you kind of get roped into. Uh, you get framed for um, a, an, a murder, an actual murder. But, the, but what actually happens in this world is that, as you can see there, the civilians which were shot, um, they're coming back to life. And basically, the, one of the biggest corporations in the world is called Canada. Mm-hmm. And um, they um, produce this pharmaceutical, which is taken in a pill form. Um, Sean is very. Ah, so that is the, the pill in the logo. Yes. Okay. Um, and it's full of little nanobots, okay. um, which repair you. Um, and essentially, it means that everyone lives forever. Um, so in this world, assassination is kind of—it's more um, uh, an insurance scam than um, huh. actual killing, and, um, and that's, that comes into play later in the story. It's not just kind of our excuse for all of this. Um, that, that's an interesting—I mean, given the—I mean, so you're making it, it, it like a tribute to that first GTA game, which was was the most anarchic of the Grand Theft Auto games. They've all had an element of anarchy, but it was the one that was the most purely about pairing around in an open world, yeah. shooting and getting yeah, combos yeah. and getting points yeah. and you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Um, that's an interesting sort of way to fold that into your fiction without making a game about crime, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Um, and actually, here's, I mean, here, you know, whilst there's a lot of references in this game, this is, for us it's a one-on-one thing, so we, we've been, and we're doing a talk just now about it, we've been taking from wherever we can to learn how to make games. But actually, Sean's now got the minigun and the, the coat on. So right. that's like, this is if you want to do the syndicate this thing. This is pure syndicate now. This is how you do it. This is <laughs> syndicate mode. Get the look. Um, yeah. The look. Uh, and yes. then you, and, and the look. you can see this This is where you're sort of seeing um, the bullet hell side of the gameplay. Um, mm. uh, <laughs> go so it can get sort of quite chao- chaotic. Um, there's a bit of a fashion bit. I notice you're determining the colour of a cat there. Yes. There are cats. Ex- explain. Um, there's, ta- there's a tactical cat. Um, okay. You, you at some point in the game start getting attacked by um, assassins, so you use uh, what's known as a tracker cat, um, which is uh, basically a sniffer cat, um, which goes and finds enemy assassins. And these assassins look like civilians. Um, so um, they kind of play out like the multiplayer does, um, in that it could be any one of these civilians around you that you suddenly Oh, interesting. Um, so you actually need the cat to kind of sniff someone out. And I think Sean is going to try and if you got the caps on or not. Is it not working? I do have caps on yet. Cheats. Cheats. Sean's giving him lots, lots, of, lots of money and experience. I'm getting pushed around by this gang. <laughs> We're all going to love your West Side Story. That's what they do. And then they kill you. Coffee machines. So in Tokyo, there's loads of coffee machines. Right. As uh, so one of our nods to that is um, our saving system is all wrapped into activating coffee machines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you end up, your character like drinks lots of coffee, yeah. right? Basically, <laughs> little can. That explains all of the coffee. jumping and the, <laughs> yes, the, the falling, yeah. and the, <laughs> the shooting, the general scenario, yeah, and the so buzzing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it? Is it? Is, are, we wait, are, we, are we waiting on a nemesis? Uh, that was kind of the plan, but maybe we should do a mission actually. Yeah, show us a mission. Yeah. That'd be interesting to see. Yeah. So I uh, noticed that the like the shooting you got. A lot of you mentioned the bullet hell system before before death and the way to move on to cats. I was distracted by cats. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. You were talking. Yeah, no. It does. Um, tend, I mean, tend to it, yeah, yeah. It, just I wasn't expecting it to see it on the, in the menu, honestly. Um, but <laughs> that's sort a of bullet hell aspect of it. You know, you got slow projectiles and lots of them. Was that just another influence of yours that you wanted to find a way to thread into this world? Um, it's. I'm, I need. Mean, it's, it's um, uh, I don't know. It kind of emerged because we wanted to make a multi, a, a sort of multi, multi approach game. So Sean actually. Is, Doing a bit of stuff, but he's lost his skin, so now he's now he's like <laughs> it happens to totally the best visible, of and his skin so has fallen off. It's disastrous, and they failed this stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> you no, happened by of, you. It kind of, it, it, in some respects, um, it emerged quite organically. Um, in that we wanted to make like this real-time physics-based uh, game, and and actually we found that um, dodging around and fight, fighting through stuff was actually really fun. Um, and mm-hmm. then we kind of understood okay. why, you know, bullet hell games are really great. Yeah. And oh, okay. So it's more like you discovered bullet hell by making one. 
Well, it, it wasn't deliberate. Right. Um, uh, we obviously we played, you know, we played a lot of um, uh, indie games, so we kind of were familiar with it. It wasn't it wasn't expected that this would be that. Um, so actually, what happened was was that we ended up retrofitting a couple of environments which are specifically for that. Because you can see here in this mission, Sean's doing sort of some stuff. Yeah. He's finally got some energy, so he can look like a normal person. <laughs> um, uh, so this is like one of the more you can fight your way through this, but you can also sneak um, in the game. Uh, um, so this was kind of our initial kind of base setup of missions. Um, it's a multi-choice kind of Metal Gear Solid style, but yeah. worse or crapper um, <laughs> missions. Um, uh, but um, in that combat, we just we just had so much fun. So we ended up kind of fitting this whole area just next to this actually, um, which is all about bullet hell. And it's kind of an optional side side quest line um, right. where you can just get you know get shot a lot. Mm. But if you're good at not getting shot, yeah. While getting shot a lot, yeah. and that's a, that's a valid way to yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what you're, what you're actually looking at here is um, the neony bit of this Tokyo, um, right. because is that the district name, the neony bit? Neony mm. bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually called Kowloon after a place in China. The wall um, uh, not uh, yeah, yeah. Um, which yeah. is which is you know, but it's actually it's based off like it was it was based off the Golden Guy um, in. Tokyo and obviously the sort of the Kiba and um, uh, Shinjuku and all that um, and you won't actually find too much neon throughout the city um, because you know we figured that in this future um, uh, well it's, it's we we kind of got a bit sick of neon and games basically yeah um, not that it's bad and um, it's just that everyone does it and does it really well we tried to do it and it was just kind of a bit crap um, so um, most of our cities kind of looks quite different but, yeah um, but yeah, it's neon. -y. It's interesting because I mean, obviously you've got like uh, neon is actually short shorthand for cyberpunk mega yeah. cities, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. it's you, you you want like verticality, flying car, yeah. neon signs, rain, rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but actually it's not raining, <laughs> no. and there's no neon, so you've yeah. done your own spin on it. Yeah, right? exactly. So, um, pastel cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, well, first, I mean, we we went to Tokyo and um, we discovered that daytime existed. Right. Um, I, I don't know. A lot of people in the West don't I don't think know this. Well, it's, um, it's February in the UK, so yeah, no one, no one yeah. knows that. Yet. So um, actually, it's daytime a lot of the day. Um, if <laughs> Indeed, if not, if not all of it. I don't know if, if there's any of these hot scoops you wanted to hold back for a different live stream. But yeah. We're really yeah. getting all of it. It's all exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, we, we kind of took a lot of inspiration from that other the other side of Tokyo that we don't see. Um, the daytime. The daytime, the normal, and it, actually, you know, if you spend time there, it's the suburbs. Um, mm. And you see it in, in anime, you see the suburban streets. Um, yeah, but when it comes to West, you know, I mean, you're going to see it now in the Ghost of Shell film. You know, right. apparently everything's bloody new. Um, well, that's, I mean, that is yeah. an interesting, I guess, an interesting point yeah. of comparison. So you actually can capture maybe some of the palette of, of anime that I associate with, like, Japanese cyberpunk, but, like, not, not the 100% of it, right? Like, yeah, exactly. you know, like, Akira is 50% of the movie that's approximately in this palette, but yeah. it's thought of for the nighttime yeah, beyond. Yeah. Like I mean, and actually, lights. the Ghost of Shell one, you know, um, a lot of the most memorable scenes are in kind of like the arbitrary alleys in between and kind of like in sort of the waterways and yeah. um, sort of corporate high sort of towers. We're nowhere near the sort of high street. Um, uh, so. Um, I say all that whilst we're, all you see on the screen is the neon and stuff. Indeed. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> but you've, you've, act, you've, act, you've uh, adequately contextualized the neon stuff. <laughs> well, it's not yeah, everywhere. So that's the technical term for that. The neon stuff. That's in the film industry. Or yeah, I, I imagine. Like yeah, if you go and talk to the ghosts in the shell people, that's, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's the subtitle, actually. Um, okay, so there's a nemesis assassin stalking me somewhere. I don't actually know. Is this where the there Oh, God, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> His name was Richie. So that's actually something that happens in the multiplayer, that you have this kind of spy party style mm. um, scenario where you, you're pretending to be an AI and we're still trying to find other guys. Someone multiple. just said, can't wait for night time. Yes. <laughs> the time that doesn't exist. <laughs> Not in our game. No. No. <laughs> I take that that's yeah. deliberately tongue in cheek. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's actually it's kind of it was civilization cool. of extremely tired people. Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Hence all the coffee. But it all fits. It all fits exactly. together. Yeah. And there's two aspects of it. Obviously, we, we weren't actually digging at nighttime games. We were digging at the fact that we don't have the budget or the skill <laughs> to make nighttime. Um, uh, well, yeah. Because actually doing lighting in games at night is really hard and right. all that kind of stuff. Um, so we've got you know <laughs> our sunlight and we were like. Is that enough for lighting? Yeah, that seems good. You know. right. um, <laughs> there's, a, there's an element of, yeah. it's interesting to see a, sort of, a, a yeah. set of ideas associated with, with cyberpunk neon yeah. and nighttime done differently, but equally it is also hard. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> just hard. Um, and it, this is a, obviously an example of quite a different area. Um, 
And this is kind of like, you know, our take on the sort of future sense. And you can see it now in contemporary society. Obviously, people are, you know, kind of conscious and all that kind of stuff. And whereas, you know, in the 80s, when we were first writing these stories, it was all about, you know, miscreants in the dark of the night drinking whiskey. Yeah. Um, but now maybe the miscreants are, you know, yoga Indeed. Um, who, you know, are nudists um, and, uh, you know, build you know, massive gardens on rooftops. So is that a gang of nudists? Yes, yes. they're called okay. the commandos. Um, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> that was a genuine laugh as well. Right? <laughs> um, so, uh, we, you know, we took a little bit of inspiration from like GTA where yeah. you have the court city and then you kind of have the headquarters on the fringes. Mm. Um, so you might have had the Zaibatsu sort of stronghold. Yeah. Um, uh, at some point, so this is kind of our commando strong. We kind of took some of the layout of the city, we took tips from those games. So, I'd say, I mean, I should say tips, but we just stole. Okay. Ideas, so. <laughs> but it's been a long time, and yeah. they haven't suffered in any way, I think, from their, from their franchise, you know, it's not like, yeah. So I think, I think, that'll, I think that'll be quite all right. Yeah. No, it's, um, so how long have you been working on Tokyo Port DC? Did you say it's your, it's your first project? Yeah. Um, which is nuts, incidentally. Congratulations. The what? It's not so this is your first project. Okay. I, well, yeah, it was a fairly bad idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we started full time in October of 2015. Um, so we would gotten a prototype together. Um, and we met with Mode 7, who are publishing us. Mm -hmm. uh, Mode 7 made Frozen Sign Up. Yep. Um, uh, they, they took us under a wing and they kind of guided us through. It's, it's only possible because of them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so whilst we, we've done obviously quite a lot of work, but it's been, it's been with the help of others. We also have the help of um, this guy called Alex Darby, uh, who's doing a lot of the sort of technical support and stuff for us. Right. Um, so yeah, it's been a project since Ooh. October um, of 2015, so it's been a year and a bit. Um, it feels like there's... Um, uh, did your kind of connection to Mode 7 come from a, a few common sensibilities? Because it feels like... Uh, they don't, I mean, your games don't actually. Uh, Frozen Sign Up 2, which will be on the live stream tomorrow, that yeah. is a nighttime cyberpunk neon yes. game, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, um, uh, yeah. Presumably, they used all the neon in the budget <laughs> for both of you. And, exactly. you know, yeah, and you've, you've um, got I think there was an alignment because they, they definitely, they, they, they obviously work in that space. So, yeah. um, whilst this looks looks quite different, um, you know, it's it's still it still kind of has a lot of that same ethos. Um, it, it feels like maybe share some of the same references to it syndicate yeah. as a game that's yeah. informed them as yeah. well. So, yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah. actually, between the two of you, maybe approaching yeah. it like. In terms of sort of open world squad combat or yeah. you know, combat at least, that's something that you've taken totally different angles on, yeah. but it's still yeah. maybe a shared point of reference. So we're kind of like the real time action bit, yeah. um, and they're doing a really tactical kind of like uh, uh, turn based counter strike basically. <laughs> yeah, which is epic. Uh, so. That's exciting. So, um, how far along are you now, and kind of what's the plan for um, we're, we're starting to wrap. Um, okay. um, well, you know, obviously, we're, 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 we're also doing consoles. This was originally a PC game, but we decided to push on consoles. So we have to finish earlier than uh, we should do, we, than we need to, uh, for console accreditation, all that kind of stuff. So we're pretty much done with the game. Um, uh, um, but we're just kind of preparing it for consoles. Um, right. So it means I'm not allowed to make any more textures and we're not allowed to put in any more stupid sound effects. Would that just um, happen by default? Were you, were you not when doing you dev, it would just be like, whoa, what, what, when did you put that in? What is yeah. that? Like, so yeah. There's a lot of that process. <laughs> yeah. uh, Finishing uh, a game means stopping that. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we've stopped um, and now we're fixing and. Uh, uh, so, Presumably, all those the names of the people who are killing you are just randomly generated. Pulled from no, the no, those are actual individual, real. AI. Oh, we've as we've no, together, no, they have generation. their own lives. <laughs> You're ending so many <laughs> lives before they begin here. It's actually, massively <laughs> online multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, announcing features like that on a live stream can get you in trouble. Um, That's true. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> This is the single player portion. We do actually have a multiplayer, it's kind of like a competitive um, arena style thing. Um, okay, so in addition to the spy party style. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, that, that is a spy party. That is oh, something. It kind of it starts off as stealth and then it breaks out into combat and then you go back into stealth and it breaks out into combat. Oh, I see. So is that more. Uh, I'm trying to think that we, there, there's been a few different multiplayer games that experiment with that sort of asymmetrical people hidden, people not hidden thing. Is that sort of how it works? Well, yeah, no, you act, well, everyone's on the same level. Oh, I um, see. So you're all hidden together and you're all fighting together. Oh, I see. So if you're, so the idea is don't, don't be revealed yeah. early, right? Yeah. Want to be the last person to yeah. show yeah. their yeah. hand. Yeah. How have you? Uh, it would be interesting to know, like, uh, pretending to be an NPC could mean walking in little circles and apparently demonstrating sentience. Yes. Yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> but 
uh, what kind of behaviours, uh, have you put any sort of NPC behaviours in there there's deliberately a couple to kind of give the players things to do? Um, nothing special, I mean there's little bits where, you, where the, the, the AI sort of hang out and you go hang out with them. Right. Um, and, and really, really that sort of, that sort of section, it's, we didn't want it to be overly complex. You know, Spy Plug and Spy Deez specifically has got quite a few different yeah. things you can do and you're yeah. reading books at home. And um, it's not really about that because actually the, the, the fighting does actually break out. Um, so it's kind of like, it's a bit of, it's a bit of a phase. Now, I'm, I'm like 35, um, and whilst I like my fast-paced shooters, you know, I, I still play Battlefield 4 and it's 36. 36, you know, like 36 as of a couple of days ago. Um, <laughs> apparently, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Um, <laughs> um, I, I do like to take a breather in games. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm actually such a huge armor fan. It's right. kind of like a shooter, but... I can go and hide in a corner and weep. It's it's without like, being shot. Well, you know, we just had the rising the rising storm guys on, and they describe what they do as the thinking man shooter. Yeah, which I think is the most polite way. Because I yeah. agree with you. I, 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 like, I, it's a way to say old. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> thinking. So so whilst this is quite a fast paced um, game, when when the fighting does break out, we did one phase in the combat where you're just kind of looking around, and you can just chill, and you can actually take your hands off the keyboard and not be you know at risk of. Um, yeah. So. Indeed. Well, guys, thank you so much for bringing the game on the show. It's actually, it actually looks great and it sounds like it's been going down well. On the, thank, you. thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what, wrapping up the game now, if people yeah. are at the show and they're somehow watching us on a phone for some reason, yeah. then they can swing by. And, or if they're coming down tomorrow, you can, you'll be there yeah. tomorrow as well. To uh, check we should the game be around out. tomorrow. Um, the, game will, the game will obviously be here. And uh, how can people find out more if they are looking Tokyo to do so? 42 game. Uh, on Twitter. Cool. And uh, Tokyo42.com. Probably. Uh, Tokyo42 on Google. Yeah. <laughs> Tokyo42 <40. laughs> Tokyo on Google. Tokyo42 related items on the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just Google it. Yeah. Tokyo42 <laughs> edible. Edible edition. Thank you very much. We'll be back very, very, very soon with Abandoned Ship. <laughs>